Welcome back to another Reaction Monday. And we are back with another Opeth song. Now, after Bang of the Hounds, Grand Conjuration, it's just been getting sicker and sicker and sicker. What's been interesting in the comments, especially in the one-stop shop thread in the community tab, where people are supposed to post links, which the song I'm doing today, Serenity Painted Death, is supposed to be really, really good. I found the link there, so if something's wrong with the link, don't blame me. And in that section or in those comments, it seems like more and more people that are fans of Opeth are saying that they prefer this style and not so much the newer style that they've kind of gone away from the heavy kind of growling and more of the progressive softer route but i've heard two songs of the newer stuff and i liked it because again i like all of it i don't like just the heavy i don't like just the melodic i like it when it's kind of all pushed together especially in one song so Next week, for all you Opeth fans, or the next time that I do an Opeth song, I want you to suggest more of the newer stuff, because we've done basically a slew of these older songs, I guess. The, the more heavy, kind of darker side of Opeth, which I love. <laughs> I mean, still to this moment, nothing has beaten Grand Conjuration. Baying of the Hounds was so good and close. Ah, it's so tough. It's so tough, but the Grand Conjuration theme and just that middle part where that Oh, just so good on drums. That, that break. So we're going to see if Serenity, Pain, and Death can pass either of those. Even if it doesn't, I don't care because I'm guessing it's going to be sick as shit with the heaviness and just the balls to the wall that is Opeth of old. So uh, I don't want to waste a lot of time talking. Let's just get to it and see where this falls. Let's go. Starting out perfect. I turn it down a little bit. Check it. Mm -hmm. Get it. Started right. It sounds like it came from a different song. Started right into it. I like that. I like that break, that sub. Like that nice little melodic lead. Ooh, yes. Ooh. That's a nice little. Oh, shit. Yes, love that part. Sounds like the beginning of John Petrucci's um, Jaws of Life. Oh, I like that. Dun, 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 going on the gym playlist. Ooh, double bass. Oh, their 
their stops are really good. Uh, sounds like Rush's... Sounds like Rush a little bit. The drums. Is this Michael doing the solo? I like this section. There's the Michael singing I like. Harmonies. Ooh, very eerie. I like that little lead. It almost feels like a superhero lead. Like a, not Superman, but like, yeah, it sounds like a, a superhero lead. Nice. This is a pretty common theme in Opus songs. Like a midsection acoustic. this part. The rhythmic, rhythmic stuff is so good. Ooh, nice switch. That was a great transition. Got like that fade to black in the background. I didn't like that transition that much. The other transitions were great. That one, eh. Ooh, I like dun dun dun. That was great. Good. And Michael, your clean voice is so good. Sing more like that. Oh, 
<laughs> ah, I didn't do it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Cool. Pretty, very pretty. Mm -hmm. uh, very opeth like. Didn't beat Grand Conjuration, but again, it's okay because it's definitely going on my playlist. I would have to say, I'm going to maybe start doing this because it's the kind of way I think in my own mind, but I think I'm going to pick a favorite part of the song and a not so favorite part of the song. My favorite part of the song was that like more towards the beginning, that like, Dun, 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 dun. That was just freaking sick rhythmically, great melodically. It catches you, it pulls you in, which is what I love about Opeth. I think Opeth's strength to me in their heaviness is their like rhythmic breakdowns like that. Like the Harlequin Forest ending is the best ending I think I've ever heard in a song rhythmically. I mean, it's just so good. They are very, very excellent at that. So I definitely, definitely love that section the most in this song. The least was just that transition from that like wild to, it was just not a good clean transition, but it doesn't matter in the, in the grand scheme of things. I would rate this song below Bang of Hounds for me and below Grand Conjuration. Uh, but it was really good. Definitely will go on my playlist. So... Uh, maybe this is for a couple of Opeth weeks. Maybe this will be the last of the really heavy, older stuff. Maybe we can go into the new, more melodic stuff. Guys, suggestion, not in the comments. Make comments in the comments below about the song specifically or my comments about the song. Uh, give me some wisdom of stuff that maybe I don't know about this song. But don't give me suggestions in this. Go to the one-stop shop thread in the community tab to give me more Opus suggestions. I'm more likely to go to that and because the links will be there and I can just grab the link and click grab it and then I'm ready to go. So this is definitely going on my gym playlist. I'm going to the gym in about maybe an hour and a half and I'm going to be listening to this again. So maybe my thoughts will change after I have a few more listens. But right off the bat, Grand Conjuration is still my favorite. And second would be Bang of Hounds in the in the heavy era, uh, but you know this is definitely a good song and it's up there, just not my favorite. So as always, like and subscribe. See you guys on the next one. Peace.